what is the best library or package to plot in Julia programming language. Among the various options available such as plus.jl, makey or makey.jl package is among the best libraries to plot in Julia. It can easily be considered the matplotlib of Julia programming language, Swiss army knife of visualization or plotting because of its capability and versatility. If you are looking for a powerful package in Julia programming language to visualize your research results, look no further than makey package or makey library. Mac Mackie Visualization Package has three main backends, Cairo Mackie, GL Mackie, WGL Mackie. These three backends serve different purposes. But before discussing that, open up the Julia repo, hit the right square bracket to go into the package mode, and type add Cairo Mackie. This adds Cairo Mackie package to your Julia environment. Depending on your operating system, adding the package might take some time, so pour some coffee and wait for it. As I've already said, Mackie is the name of the whole plotting ecosystem, and Mackie.jl is the main package that describes how plots work. Cairo Mackie is used to render vector graphics and high quality 2D images. GL Mackie is used for interactive windows and true rendering. And finally, WGL Mackie is similar to GL Mackie but works in web browsers, not native windows. Since we have already added the Cairo Mackie package to our Julia environment, we can use the using keyword and type using Cairo Mackie to import the Cairo Mackie package. To plot anything in Julia programming language using Mackie, we need a figure object. So we create a figure and give it a background color other than the default white so we can see it. Basically, returning a figure from an expression will display it if your coding environment can show images. Here I specify the background color with the tomato symbol. Another common thing to do is to give a figure a different size. The default is 800 times 600. So I pass a tuple of width and height to the size argument and what you get is a figure of a specified size. The most common object you can add to a figure which you need for most plotting is the axis. For this purpose, we specify a position in the figure's layout as the first argument. Here I have specified the position 1, 1 which stands for the number of rows and columns. You can change the number of rows from 1 to 2 to see the effect. The default axis has no title or labels, you can pass those as keyword arguments. Here I have specified the title X label and Y label. So now that we have an axis, we are ready to actually plot something into an axis. Here I have used the Mackey's lines plotting function to plot the sine function into an axis by passing it as the first argument. By changing the lines function to a scatter function, we can get a scatter plot. It works very similar to lines function but shows separate markers for each input point. If you don't want to explicitly create figure and axis for every Every plot that you make, you can use the lines function without the exclamation mark or a scatter function without the exclamation mark. For instance, lines function with exclamation mark mutates an existing axis. Lines function without exclamation mark creates an implicit one. The same holds for the scatter function and so on. If you want to specify a different resolution for your scatter plot or set an axis title and labels, you can pass a spatial keyword arguments to it called axis and figure. You can pass any kind of object with the symbol value pairs and these will be used as keyword arguments for figure and axis respectively. To plot two things into the same axis, you can use the mutating plotting functions like lines exclamation mark and a scatter exclamation mark. Here I have plotted two lines on top of each other. You can also set plotting function attributes via keyword arguments. For instance, here I have specified the color and marker size. You can also manipulate most plot attributes afterwards with the syntax plot.attribute equal to new value. A lot of attributes can be set to either a single value or an array with as many elements as there are data points. As an example, it's usually much more performant to draw many points with one scatter object than to create many scatter objects with one point each. Here we vary marker size and color. You can also use an array of colors directly, in which case the color range is ignored. If you add label attributes to your plots, you can call the axis legend function to add a legend with all labeled plots to the current axis, or optionally to one you pass as the first argument. We can make subplots by giving the location of the subplot in our layout grid as the first argument to our plotting function. The basic syntax for specifying the location in a figure is fig 
rows as the first argument and columns as the second argument, as we have already discussed it. We can also create a couple of axes manually at first and then plot into them later. For example, we can create a figure with three axes and then we continue to plot into these empty axes. You can also create a legend manually and then place it freely wherever you want it in the figure. One way to create legends is to pass one vector of plot objects and one vector of label strings. The color bar works in a very similar way. We just need to pass a position in the figure to it and one plot object. For example, in the heat map example that we see, we have split the return value of the heat map into three parts, the newly created figure, the axis, and the heat map plot object. This is useful as we can then continue with the figure FIG and the heat map HM, which we need for the color bar. The previous short syntax is basically equivalent to this longer manual version. You can switch between those workflows however you please. Guys, do not forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Julia programming tutorials. Also check out my video on how to plot in Julia, in which I discuss the plots.jl package for visualization in Julia programming language. As always, see you all later.